there are close to 50,000 merchant ships in the world's oceans. They transport 90% of international trade and contribute 2.2% of emissions to the atmosphere. That's as much as a large industrialized nation. But the shipping industry doesn't have any plans to reduce its huge environmental impact, and nobody's forcing it to. The Estraden is a Finnish cargo ship that sails the North Sea six times a week. But it's not just any ship. For the past three years, it's been at the center of an experiment aimed at reducing shipping fuel consumption. And those huge cylinders that sit on top of it, known as rotor sails, are the innovation that's making this possible. Tomas Risky is the CEO of Norse Power, a Finnish startup that specializes in green technology for the shipping industry. It's the company that built the cylinders. These are Norse Power rotor sails, so they are producing forward thrust to the ship as mechanical sails and saving in the fuel cost of the ship. It just doesn't look like a sail or like a wing. We can produce the same lift with a small, lot smaller sail area. So this is the most efficient way to build a sail. The principle that allows this to work is called the Magnus effect. When wind hits the cylinders, they spin really fast. That movement creates a difference in pressure between the front and the rear of each cylinder, which is exactly what happens with airplane wings, just on a different axis. So in this case, the pressure differential pushes the ship forward. The end result is that the Straden uses less fuel than it would without the sails. The first rotor sails were built in the 1920s, but it wasn't until recently that materials became advanced enough to make them economically viable. How much fuel do you save when these rotor sails are going full power? In long term average, to save roughly 400 tons of fuel per year, that's equaling more than 1,000 tons of CO2 emissions per, per year. On an average trip, how much money do these sails actually save the, the owners of the ship? Roughly uh, 400 USD per every day. $400 per day might not sound like a lot for a shipping company, but if you're saving that much, Every day, across an entire fleet, it could have a real impact in a business like shipping, which has seen huge losses in recent years. We are, for example, fitting a tanker owned by Maersk, biggest shipping company of the world, in the beginning of next year with, with two pieces of 30 meter rotor sails. So those are huge. These are only 18 meters tall, tall per piece. Tristan Smith is a low carbon shipping researcher at University College London. Could we potentially one day see a ship powered by these rotor sails and biofuels and not have any kind of heavy fuel oil involved at all? We could do that today. The technology is, I mean, this is, in some ways, this is why it's so frustrating to see how slowly things are moving because none of the technology needed to make a zero emission ship does not exist today in some form. The problem is that the commercial driver to ensure that the investment goes in to mature the technologies just isn't there at the moment. Without clear regulation that says, this is how fast we're moving, this is when you're going to meet these standards, and without a very high oil price, there isn't the incentive to move to the alternative solutions. <laughs> 